All right, so we have two Grimald. I mean, I mean, two miasmas we have to deal with. A uh, Grimald Eos. I'm not sure what this is. This is new, but it's something that we have unlocked a while back. And then we have the Grimald Knock. So I'm gonna try the Eos first before we. Um, I'm hope I'm going the right way. Before we continue on with the rest of the main story. Okay, first, I'm gonna get this. Hey, some treasure. One thousand gold. That's a lot. There's the Grimold Eos. Again, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here, but let's go and examine it. Residual enmity lingers in the air here. You can challenge it whenever you wish. Okay, Grimold Eos. An explanation. A, time of, a type of Grimold Nox for barriers to smaller areas. Challenge this new form of Grimold Nox to receive bonuses, remove barriers, and explore further. Clearing the A's expands the Nox gauge by a hundred points. Failing to clear a Grimald Eos has no impact on the main story. However, you will no longer be able to obtain its clear bonus. Some bonus items are purchasable further on in the story. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to clear it. Faint Miasma Vortices, a type of Grimald Eos that does not expand the Nox gauge. Enter one to challenge its Grimald Eos and remove the barrier. Clearing these will not expand again. They've already told us that. Um, so yeah, Level 14. I'm not sure. <laughs> I kind of forgot what level we are in, but yeah, let's let's give this a try. I mean, we could just load the game if if things don't go our way. <laughs> Monstrums, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. She's really, really so dramatic. I wonder why she has this, like, keep repeating those lines whenever... Protect this fiend from the Lemuris, Lemures, the Lemmies, is what we call them. Okay, so, but that's a lot. Thank you so much. It was a team effort. Is that it? Well, that was quick. <laughs> Impressive. I was bracing for the worst. But yeah, I wonder if the this uh, Grimwald Eos also has like rankings. I think we did pretty well. <laughs> Rank? Standing yes! I of hope course. You to keep this up. Also, we've unlocked a brand new area. Hmm. Zenith of Grimwald. Not sure what that trophy is for. Uh, is but yeah. Yes. If it, it's not obvious already, I'm actually playing this on the PlayStation 5. <laughs> After 100 long years hath the dawn at last broken over us, though by immeasurable bloodshed it hath been paid. We have seized the banner of victory, raised the cry of triumph. Let our exultant refrain ring for the valorous souls we've lost. So yeah, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5, which is why, you know, the trophy or the notifications they are like being displayed differently now 
There is no PS5 version of this though. Um, there is no upgrade, I think, at the time of this recording. I'm not sure what Nippon Ichi Software American Falcom has uh, planned for this game. Whether they, you know, um, whether they will be making an upgrade for the PlayStation 5 or not, I'm not really sure. Okay, let's fight this first. Oh, so that's why it was pretty easy because we're already we're already at level um, like 21 with Adol. But yeah, next the Grimwald Nox itself. Residual enmity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave this be. So this is level 20. This should be a lot more difficult than the Grimwald Aos we just finished. Let's challenge the Grimwald Nox to progress the story. Central District. Okay, that's new. What is that? That's one weird rock. No, we have to be serious here. I'm cho I'm choosing what is that thing. It appears that in this instance of the Grimald Nox, the enmity has crystallized. Also known as a lacrima, they appear in places where le lemmies gather. Lacrima, isn't that like those crystals from what what's this? A, a fairy tale? I remember that because I've I didn't really I haven't really like I'm not really a fan of fairy tale but I have played the fairy tale game on the PlayStation 4 and on mobile as well. The concentration of enmity becomes so dense that it forms a solid mass. It makes my skin crawl every time I see one. The enmity here must be at critical levels for that to happen. Really? Well, we've got to get rid of them, right? Yes, Lacrimae provoke the Lemuries, which in turn produce more enmity. If we do not stop this, the Nox will manifest into the real world. So all we have to do is smash them before then. There isn't a moment to spare. Our objective for this Nox is to destroy the Lacrimae. Okay. Monstrums. The time is nigh. <laughs> Stand ready. Lay waste to the malevolent, lest the night prevail. As the sentinel between the dark and light, I, Aprilis, herald the fall of this dusk. So what are we supposed to do? Destroy the rock? Or rocks? Okay, Grimald Nox purchase. Destroy all lacrimae on the field within the time limit. What the? 80? Total lacrimae? I feel like 80 is the total lacrimae for this stage as well. Um, okay, so that's the time limit. A lacrima, destroying a large lacrima is worth the same as 10 normal ones. Destroying time uh, lacrima extends the time by 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. Espion gift gauge will recover according to the battle gauge during a purge. Oh, maybe we should have saved <laughs> before attempting the attempting this. Uh, okay, so we gotta move fast. We gotta be like Sonic. After defeating a certain number of lacrimae, destroy all remaining lacrimae upon. Uh, destroys all remaining lacrimae. Okay. You can clear a purge by destroying all lacrimae while avoiding the boss. Be my only remaining time and act accordingly. So I'm. I can just. Like, fight the boss then. Like, what's the difference if I. Okay. Well, let's try beating the boss. 
not, it doesn't look that hard. Just spamming the heck out of the skill button. Okay, there we go. Is that good enough? Oh, there we go. All lacrimae is, have been destroyed. Okay, so it's not as hard as I thought it was, it was gonna be. Impressive. Again, thank you very much, Aprilis. But I wonder if there's a difference if you defeat the boss or just destroy all the lacrimae when it comes to, you know, the ranking. We'll see. Ooh. That's a lot of stage clear bonuses point. <laughs> yes. Yes is no for S. S is for yes. <laughs> also, I feel like this is actually much easier than the actual purge Grimaldnox levels. Um, I will be, I will be taking my leave now. Me too, catch you later. Oh, before you go, we should tell them about what happened on Artisan Lane, Adel. Yeah, which one of you are, is responsible for the thefts on Artisan Lane? <laughs> Crimson King and White Cat explained, to the, uh, explained the thefts on Artisan Lane to the others. Wow, I feel almost flattered that we have imposters. It was only a matter of time. Now do you see why I was against giving people the wrong impression? I'm sorry. It's in the past now, but something about this doesn't sit right with me. What if it's actually a trap to try to get the real monsters, you know, to come out? Because surely they, you know, whoever set the trap, if it is a trap, uh, thinks that the monsters would try to get to the bottom of this to clear their name. You know, because they're not responsible for these thefts, so maybe it is a trap. So why are you helping? I thought you you were only looking out for yourself. Who said I wasn't? I had some time to kill, so I figured, why not? Ah, Don't hide your true feelings, Hawk. Um, what about you, doll? As a doll, I do not have desires of my own. However, I'm really curious about doll. Hmm, never mind that. It's of no importance. Is it of no importance? Is it really? Like, usually in games, in JRPGs, in RPGs in general, when someone says something like that, then, you know, they're, they have some valuable information. I, I would, but I don't have the time. If I come across any information, though, I'll let you know. Uh, how will you, how do you guys contact each, each other, though? Sure you will. I wish I could help too, but it's just not a great time right now. Why? What's up, Raging Bull? Sorry, maybe next time? Uh, maybe you guys should, you know, not stand in the middle <laughs> of the plaza like that. Well, that's our cue. Good luck. Back to Drab Viva. Drabville we go. Take care. Ah, to each their own. The monstrums are not yet a united front. But we'll get there eventually. And now we've unlocked a brand new area. A new area to explore. So let's do that. Oh, wait. Artisan Lane. We're here to investigate. The thefts that that monstrum imposters are responsible for. This is Artisan Lane, the site of all those recent thefts. The antique shop was one of the victims. We should go ask around there. Okay. Where is it then? Huh? Wait, isn't that Yufa? Raging Bull! <gasps> we meet again so soon! Um, Yufa, are you okay? What? 
Ah, uh, geez, sorry I didn't see you guys. Guess I was a little out of it there. Haha. <laughs> yeah, a little out of it. Out for a walk? Are you out shopping? Out for a walk. Well, I guess you could say that. It's such a nice day out and all. Liar. So I thought, hey, why not make a trip to the market for some veggie plants and soak it in? You're lying. Veggie plants? You do know you're in artisan lane, right? Oh, did I say plants? I mean plates. Shantae wanted me to get some dishware. Plus, I have to deliver something to one of my friends in the entertainment district. That's a whole lot of errands. I don't know where you get the energy, Yufa. It's honestly kind of impressive. Well, she's a monstrum! Well, we've all got our saving braces, so I'm guessing you guys are here to go check out that antique shop, like you said? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Well, here's hoping the culprits are caught soon, for everyone's sake. How did she know? Anyway, I've got to run. See you back at the bar. How did she know, though? Oh, what's going on with you, Yufa? Yufa? What's up with the dizzy spell? Not that you were hiding it particularly well, but you're not looking too hot. Credo's right. Are you feeling okay, Yufa? It's nothing. I'm just a little tired, is all. Is that really all? Uh, we'll walk you back you to the okay? bar. Adol is a nice guy. So of course he'll say that. No, I'm fine. Honest. Besides, I've cost you guys enough trouble as it is. What are you saying, Yufa? You've been nothing but a help to us this whole time. Adol! Should you really be screaming his name? He is a wanted man. Oh, if it ain't big and brawny. Though I'd come by and help out with all that ruckus in our, uh, Thought I'd come by and help out with all the ruckus in Artisan Lane. Didn't know you were here too, though, you felt Wait, did I miss something? I get it now. She's been run off her feet ever since the bar opened. Exhaustion must have finally caught up. Yufa here works harder than the rest of us put together. That's what Shantae told me. Yufa... Alright, you guys still have things to do, right, Adol? I'll bring Yufa here back to the bar with me. Thanks, Dogi. Sorry for, for all this. Come now, none of that. When one of us falls, the rest of us picks him, bu picks him back up again. Like we keep saying at the end of the day, you're the one giving us a hand here. Well, I can't argue with that, I guess. You can help me back to the bar now. I should be good to go after some rest. Sure thing, I'll do my best to keep you standing till then. Don't push yourself too hard, okay, Raging Bull? <laughs> I'll try. Sorry for slowing you guys down with this. Well, I'll see you later then, Adol. Make sure you give those thieves what's coming to them for me, yeah? So yeah, how did Yufa know that we're heading to the antique store when she wasn't there when you know Shantae and the others told us about this whole thief business but yeah after seeing Dogi and Yufa off you resume your resume your search of artisan lane I hope so, yeah. Yufa will be okay yes why don't you go back and keep her company then <laughs> no, Credo this is just as important <laughs> Credo why are you like that New location discovered. So yeah, I'm gonna be using Krisha for a bit so that we can unlock the trophy Stop associated with... Get a move on. I'm sorry, Credo. But as I was saying, so that we can get the trophy associated with using her for a set amount of time. Because we already got Adol's trophy. White asparagus! Times five. That's a lot of asparagus. Oh! Oh, what? Hey, either step off the road or keep it moving next time. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, did you want to spy some? What shop is this? Um... It, even though it says antiques right there. Well, it's an antique shop, the one that was stolen from, in fact. You don't say. We should ask inside. Right, I'll come with. Um, the owner, Roderio, should be here somewhere. Where is he then? I can't- I'm not even gonna attempt to read that. The name of the antique shop. Because all I can read is antiques. Oh, he's with a customer right now. 
Could we wait here until he's finished, Adol? Can I look around? An antique shop, huh? Not my thing. Does something feel weird? Uh, does something feel weird about this place, or am I finally going crazy? Uh, what do you mean weird? Weird how? Weird how? That's a doll. Is this doll? Is this doll doll? Is this, yeah, is this doll? Doll, a beautiful antique doll is on di display. Though it's quite old, it's apparent that it's been well maintained. I am very sorry, sir. But that one isn't for sale, I'm That's afraid. That's a beautiful looking doll. But is, is this... I feel like this is our monstrum friend doll. If so, am I wrong? That, you know, I, I thought that she'd be like this frail girl and not an actual doll. Like, she literally said she was a doll and I just... I didn't take her seriously. Um, I couldn't help but admire it. Isn't she just the loveliest yes. thing you've ever seen? She's not She's creepy at all. Like all, all the other, like, real-life dolls that I've seen. Her name is Anemona. And Nimona? She's been around ever since the Hundred Years' War. Hundred Years' War? Uh... The Hundred Years' War. I'm more curious about that than knowing how long <laughs> ago that was. You're not from Balduke, are you, dear? Um, no. I'm a traveler. An adventurer. Clea was in a war with Bratai, a region across the sea. It lasted a hundred years. I could guess as much, that's why it's called a hundred year war. You know, the same thing with what uh, the war with the Fire Nation was called in the Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. All Gleans, especially those who live here in Balduk, know it well. Then please do tell. Mrs. Rindal. My, oh, my. is she the wife of the owner? Oh, you're one of Pendleton's daughters, aren't you? That's right, little Krisha. My goodness, how much you've grown. Well, she's still little. <laughs> and we are all grateful for your service, Sir Knight. Sure. <laughs> what can I do for all of sure. you today? Sure. That's all Krita could say. Well, we heard that a thief broke into your store. Oh my, you came because you were worried about us? And also because they wanted to clear their names. You know, the Monstrum's names. Yes. Is there anything we could do to help? Thank you very much, Krisha. Rodario is just about to take a break. Since you're all here, why don't we enjoy some tea while we talk? Like, the man that just walked behind, you know, the one wearing a top hat? Is he, That's like, supposed to be someone important? The statue of a saint was stolen. A statue of a saint. saint. Why would someone you mean steal that? Saint Rose Vita? Could someone explain to me who that is? Uh, I've heard that name. Who's that? Let's go with who's that because I can't remember if I've Saint actually Rosita heard that was a hero name who before. Balduk during the Hundred Years' War. Is she the giant statue that was outside the Knights' headquarters? She was only the daughter of a farmer, but ended up leading an army against Bretai. Oh, that's impressive. That's right. The stolen statue was made during the Hundred Years' War. That's also impressive. <laughs> It lasted that long. Rodario had only recently purchased it not more than a week ago. From whom? Oh yeah? Is it worth a lot? Absolutely. And rightfully so. Though it pains us to have something of ours stolen, it's more upsetting that something made in St. Rosvita's image is the object of greed. Maybe there's something about that statue that got it stolen. That's awful. Maybe there was something hidden in it, or the person who sold it wanted it back, or something. I don't know. Uh, we heard it could have been Monstrums. Let's go with that. Hmm. Uh, about that, the culprits left a note. A note? Really? What does it Is say? Is it okay if we take a look? Yes, please, By show us the note. 
Rodario procures a slip of paper. Monstrums was here. What? There's a lot of things wrong about this note. The words Monstrums was here are scribbled across it. What is this? <laughs> this has got to be a joke. A prank by some punk ass kids. That's what we thought. But there were witnesses who said they saw the monstrums. Really? Witnesses? Similar notes were left in other shops. So many believe the monstrums are to blame. Why would they leave a note though? Oh, no. But there is something strange about all of this. What do you think that is? Uh, what is it? You don't think the monstrums did it? Let's go with what is it, because giving an answer like you don't think the monsters did it, it may be a giveaway that, you know, we're trying to get them to think that the monsters didn't do it. And that is questionable. The monsters are supposed to be the enemy of the people of Balduk right now. Well, this is merely an observation, but how do I put it? Um, well, their methods were surprisingly crude. Crude how? Yes, the lock on the door seemed to have been forcibly open. The hawk and the white cat are said to have remarkable powers. Isn't that right? If so, then these methods would be uncharacteristically unremarkable. Huh. That's true. Have you reported this to the garrison? The garrison didn't pay any mind to it or any attention to it, I'm guessing. Yes, naturally. Or they're too busy with something else to actually help. But they're already very busy with the many yep. <laughs> other monstrum complaints. That's always the case, you know, with games that have the sort of, uh, uh, what do you call this, group that's supposed to be taking care of the peace and order of a place. They don't really do their jobs well. But that was why the Hieroglyph Knight sent you, was it not? You, how are you gonna answer that, Credo? I'm grateful that our precious Anna Mona is safe, at least. Well, if you want her to be safe, though, why would you place her there? Like, is there nowhere else that you could, like, put her that's much more secure than the front of the shop? And it gives me comfort knowing that little Krisha came to make sure we're all right. I have so many questions about this case. Yes, and from what I hear from your father, you left Pendleton to start your own business. Oh, um, it's a long story. Yes, and one that involves a monstrum or two. I'm sorry. I should have told everyone about it. There's no need to apologize, dear. We knew it was only a matter of time before you seized your own future. These two are really, really kind. Ever since you were a little girl. How could anyone steal from them? You're stronger than you look, and you always keep your customers' best interests in mind. To be frank, we were worried knowing that you and your father don't see eye to eye. But we're positive that you'll do just fine, dear. We have faith in you. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. Thank you. I won't let you down. That's a really nice thing to say. A really, really nice thing to say. Hmm. Something wrong, Credo? Nah, just thinking to myself. Care to share that with uh, to the class? They were a very nice couple. I'm going with that. Yeah, they ended up cheering me up instead of the other way around. True. Um, Adol, I have an idea. Why don't we try asking around the other shops that we're stolen from too? Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Our names are on the line, of course, but also I don't think I can just let this stand. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> oh well, guess that makes things easier. Anyway, let's stop by the other shops around here and find some witnesses to talk to. 
So yeah, we can explore. But again, I think I'll leave the majority of the exploring when we finally get Dahl. Way to go, Crimson King. Keep on bringing Balduke the mayhem it deserves. That's not really what the Crimson... Oh. There's a pathway here. How do I... All right. Switch. Leave it to me. Huh. I can't go there just yet. Okay, so here's one quest marker. Speaking of which, the Monstrums ended up hitting this workshop too, right? You didn't see him or anything, did you? Actually, I did see some strange figures sometime around dawn. I see, I see. That proves it then. They really are the culprits. I thought the Crimson King was of a decent sort, with all I've heard about him lately. Though I also hear the Feral Hawk went on a rampage through the chapter house and prison. Well, if you can't trust one monster, you can't trust any in the end. Hey, now! Ah, welcome. How can I help you? A little birdie told me you were spreading rumors about me just- <laughs> Credo! You're supposed to be hiding your identity as a monster. Um, if you can have a moment of your time. We wanted to ask you about the monstrums. You said you saw some shadows that look like them leaving your workshop, right? Oh, you heard that, huh? Yeah, I saw him all right. Three of them all together. They were scurrying around in front of my workshop as if a forge was lit beneath them. I think it was the white cat, the hawk, and the doll. That sounds about right. Really? So not the Crimson King. I thought it was uh, these three. <laughs> You're kidding. To be fair, I can't say. I know for sure either way. Do you know where the monsters headed when they left? Well, I heard them argue for a bit, then they ran towards the west gate and skipped town. They left from the west gate? Yep, there's no mistaking it. Almost no one exits the west gates at dawn, you see. I'm guessing they must have some sort of hideaway outside of town. If the culprits really are, were monstrums, the curse would have kept them from leaving Balduk. Looks like we're star starting to get somewhere. Let's see what else we can find out. Yeah, but if these... We already know that, you know, none of them are... Special craftable equipment that raises defense and max HP. Okay... Can we need? craft an armor? No, we can't. Something we're missing iron me. ore. See ya. Uh, but yeah, if, like, we already know from the start that none of the monsters are really responsible. But if they're not, you know, if none of them really are responsible, and if there is a, a hideout for these thieves out of Balduke, then that, the, then that, does that mean that we can finally, like, just clear one of those, uh, what do you call miasma vortices and we'll be able to leave? One of these days, I'll, I'll do you, you stubborn old goat, then we'll see who the real master is. It's interesting, how will they, like, find the hideout? Because I'm guessing they would have to find the... Hold on a minute. Oh my god, Adol, be careful. Hold it right there, you're a motley little trio, if I've ever seen one. Oh, um, ain't this lady from the prison? This might end up more trouble than we asked for. My name is Ingrid. I'm the par uh, ahem, the interrogator of Balduk Prison. We're currently conducting a manhunt man man in pursuit of a red-haired male fugitive. Oh, come on. Just look in front of you. You've talked to Adol before. You know what he looks like. Just look at that face. That's Adol. Just change the hair color. He really didn't change his face that much. His name is Adol Kristen. Have you heard anything of him? <laughs> Sorry, but uh, we actually have somewhere to be right now. <laughs> You're acting way too suspicious, Krisha. I see, I'll leave you to it then. By the way, you there, Hieroglyph Knight. Hmm? Despite a full sweep of the city, hardly any witnesses have ever seen uh, ha have even so much as seen at all. I understand your high inspections have similarly gone without incident. Pulling that off is beyond preposterous. No matter how skillful his escape may have been, is right in front of you, Ingrid. 
So allow me to ask you this, did Al truly, uh, did Adol truly break out of the prison? That's a good question. What's with this chick? Who can say, as far as the, they told me he did. I see, very well then, if you would excuse moi. How could she not tell that Adol is right there? Right in front of her. What a waste of time. I thought my heart was going to stop for a moment there. But we can't let this get us down. Let's try asking around some more. Well, it didn't... I don't think it really did much other than, like, prove how questionably stupid <laughs> these people are. The Blacksmith family is coist. They're coist. Tomato. We got tomato. Okay. Can't really do much over here. Okay, Hunter Reno, you have anything to share for us? Man, couldn't catch so much as a squirrel out there. Hunting season is just about over too. Real thorns in my side they are. Uh, who are you talking about? Um, excuse me, is something the matter? I'm guessing he's talking about, uh, the thieves. The thieves that are responsible for the thefts here at Artisan Lane. But he's mistaking them for monsters as well. Well, I'm a hunter. I find my quarries in the forest to the northwest, or at least I did. See, there's a deserted village there some shady bunch keeps popping in and out of. And ever since they have, the boars and deer won't come anywhere near there. To the northwest, huh? So it's out past the, we the west gates then. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek, the north end of the highway. So are we finally going to be able to leave Balduk? Adol, that shady bunch he mentioned. They must be the culprits. Of course, that's the only answer, really. I think so too, but we can't exactly leave the city to go after them. But maybe there's still something we can do. Like what, Krisha? Why don't we try checking the West Gates out ourselves? Okay, we can do that. But first, I again... Why are we back here? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I'm going to check uh, the side quest or whatever this is. Oh, it's a hieroglyph knight. I wonder what he wants with a stonemason. Uh, it's him. Ju let's just split. Who is he? Do you know him? Uh, but isn't he a friend of yours, Credo? Says who? Come on, let's just go before... Hmm? Wait, hey, you there! Great, he saw me. Thanks a lot, fur for brains. <laughs> How's this my fault? Well, well, if it isn't Credo skulking around as always, I don't suppose you've made any progress investigating those thefts. Doubtful, seeing as you're out cavorting with the townsfolk, what would Gilbert think of this? Like I care, why don't you shut your trap and mind your own business? I most certainly will not. When do you plan on realizing that being a knight means... <clears throat> I apologize for the unseemly behavior, fair citizens. <laughs> well, that's a change. I'm Huan of the Hieroglyph Knights. I became a squire at around the same time as Credo. I'm assuming you must be acquaintances of his. Has he been behaving himself? Well... Honestly, not in the slightest. He's been a great help, actually. Let's not pull, uh, put, uh, you know, Credo down. We're his friends. You heard the man. Mm, that doesn't mean I believe him. Um, not to change the subject, but did something happen with the stonemason? Not exactly. Much as I prefer otherwise, we're actually in need of his services. The monsters caused a huge ruckus attacking the hieroglyph commandery the other day. <laughs> a number of our facilities were damaged as a result, so I came here to discuss repairs. Curse those monsters. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. You're talking to those monsters, by the way, Huan. Uh, those pesky, pesky monsters. Always up to no good, aren't they? <laughs> Could you try a little bit more harder, Credo? Can you, like, act a bit better than that? You know, you're trying not to act so suspicious. <laughs> uh, 
That's why you're still mocking the knights themselves. So that's what brought you all the way out here. How awful. Nice, Prisha. Nice acting. That's not the half of it. With heightened patrols, even with the thefts investigations. On top of that, Master Chatelar decided to up our training frequency and intensity. We haven't even had a chance to fully assess the chapter house's damages yet. Well, you've stuck around listening for this long, Frito. Don't you feel like helping out for once, even a little? I'm guessing not. Well, nope. Yep. Still nope. See, I actually got these real urgent thefts to go investigate. Maybe you've heard of him? You're a real piece of work, you know that? <laughs> uh, don't you think we should help him out with this? I mean, we're monsters too. In a way, it's kind of our responsibility. Uh, <laughs> we'll help, um. Credo included. Let's drag Credo along. <laughs> he is to blame. Y you guys as well? I mean, I appreciate the offer, of course. But even if we're short-handed, I'm a bit hesitant to ask uh, for so much from civilians. Hey, since when the hell did we make you our mouthpiece, huh? <laughs> We don't owe this moss-haired chump a damn thing. Credo, nothing, nothing's more important in the workplace than trust. You need to reflect on why you have such a poor reputation with your fellow knights. You managed to get by so far, but earning some brownie points now and then can't hurt. Otherwise, you'll have no one to blame but yourself if you end up discharged, you know? Oh yeah, and since when did I make you my career counselor? I see, your, uh, I see your friends here care a great deal about you, Credo. Alright, you guys can help. I'll let headquarters know. Keeping a leash on this guy is a hell of a task in itself, but I think you can handle it. Of course, we'll try to rein him in. She's really rubbing it in. The group made their way towards the chapter house, dragging a still grumbling Credo behind them all the way. I, th I still think it's suspicious that it's you three. How the hell did I end up getting saddled with short duty? Though I guess it's my actual job now that that asshole one officially contacted HQ. Aw, shin up, Credo. We came all this way, so we might as well get the job done, right? Look at Krisha's face. She's just loving this. Besides, if I finding the damages should be easy. After all, you're the one who caused them. Uh, guess there's no way out of it. Let's just get this over with. But for the record, I don't recall Jack on what I broke. They call it a rampage for a reason. I didn't touch the barracks in the back though, that much I know for sure. In that case, we should focus on checking the front side of the chapter house. Let's go see exactly how much Havo Credo ended up wrecking. Like if somebody is like listening in on their conversation, they'd be done for. They'd honestly be done for it. <laughs> They're not taking a, like, great care in hiding their identity. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. That's good. What is up there? Also, how is nobody, like, noticing this? What happened here? Huh, did I end up uh, wilding out up on top of the roof too? Guess I must have flown here using my gift or something. You split the support beam completely in half. We're going to have to make sure we report this before someone gets hurt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, the night standard is all slashed up. I guess your rampage must have taken you all the way over here, too. But I had to lure those bastards out somehow, so that's what I did. Gotta kick a few of them into the canal for a swim before making a break for it, though. <laughs> you remember that part, but not the actual destruction you've caused? You ever see a guy freak out trying to swim in full armor? Hilarious. <laughs> You really don't pull any punches, and these are your fellow knights too! Anyway, let's, let's make sure we don't forget to report this location too. I think here... Nothing, we've already got gotten uh, the chest. Oh, hello. Okay, so... Time to go to the other side. Okay, nothing there. 
Okay. How about over here? Oh, I can't... I can't reach it. Fine! Examine. Oh look, some of this column has broken off. Yep, looks like I really did a number on it. <laughs> it's their fault for trying to use it as cover. Loads of fun for me though. I'm glad you feel so bad about it, that, that I really expect you to. Like, I really like Credo. I, I find him so funny. Let's make sure we remember to include this in our report. Okay, I think we've seen just about everything by now. Juan should be coming back before long. Let's go report our findings to him. Huan returned to the chapter house soon after, having finished consulting with the stonemason. Adol and his companions proceeded to report the chapter house damages to him. Sounds like you guys conducted a pretty thorough search. I didn't expect us to have missed this much in our initial assessment. Job well done, especially you, Credo. I'm surprised you took this so seriously. It, it really didn't. He was having a blast though, he was like... Making fun of you guys. <laughs> Aw, look at that, Credo. He praised you. <laughs> Krisha. Krisha is such a troll. Swell. Nothing like a back backhanded compliment. I have to ask, how do you manage to notice the damage on the roof? Good question, Huan. You can't see it from below, and civilians are not typically allowed inside the chapter house. How are you gonna answer that? Nothing ever gets past you, does it? Ain't it obvious we scale the walls and go and check, just like the monster- <laughs> Credo! That joke was in poor taste at best. But I suppose if anyone were to notice it, it'd be you. You're a sharper sighted- uh, You are sharper sighted than most. I'll arrange for the locations you reported to be repaired at once. Many thanks to you and your friends, Credo. Your help was much appreciated. No problem at all. <laughs> if only you knew. My heart almost stopped. Ah, get over it. We fooled him, didn't we? And Frida was just having so much fun. Well now, what's all the commotion here? Uh-oh. Uh all right, the master and his lackey were planning on swinging by to train us today. I wonder if, like... Come on, Chatelard... You gotta know that that's Adol. There's no way that that disguise is gonna work on you. What? Why didn't you tell us that earlier? Master Shadowlard, Seneschal Gilbert, you've arrived much sooner than expected. Indeed, we finished our duties at the prison early for the day. Hmm, and what exactly is this lot doing here? Well, about that. Juan proceeds to relay everything that had happened. So you had these civilians clean up your own mess then? How disgraceful! As if our honor hasn't been brought into question enough after that last uproar. My apologies, sir. This is all just a misunderstanding. We're the ones who offered to help. We figured we should do whatever we can with everything that's going on. Well, is this not cause for gratitude, Seneschal Gilbert? The very people we hieroglyph knights live to support have shown their support for us. Heh, <laughs> not really. It falls to us to strive more diligently than ever, lest we fall short of their expectations. Right, it's just as you say. It has been rather difficult to adequately, adequately see things without that boy around. With that in mind, today's training will have to be especially stringent. Great. That boy? Yeah, who are you talking about? Allow me to thank you once more for your assistance. Are you still talking about Adol? Or is it somebody else? Our fair city has been plagued by a myriad of unsettling rumors as of late. But rest assured, come what may, we of the Hieroglyph Knights shall defend our people. I wonder though. Will you really? This we vow, no matter when or where the monstrum's wicked clutches take root. You have my sincerest thanks for your continued support. Really, he doesn't realize that he's talking to Adol right there? What the actual frick is wrong with this people? This people? <laughs> they can't tell that that's Adol? I definitely didn't expect to run into Master Shadowlard himself. That was nerve-wracking, or it hasn't been long since the last time. That was nerve-wracking. I'll say. 
By the way, who was it they were talking about earlier? Well, besides the old fart, the knights actually have a second seneschal. My boss, as a matter of fact, he's on a long-term leave on account of illness or whatever. Your boss? With that pretty boy gone, I can slack off as much as I damn well please. You never were one to mince words, not that you'd understand how hard he works. You know, what if, like, that pretty boy they were talking about, what if that's the other monster? Uh, I forgot her, uh, his name. What if he's... <laughs> That would be so funny. I'm going to have to ask you to keep your, an eye on Credo's behavior for me. He doesn't have to be a model knight, just one not actively besmirching our good name. <laughs> well, that's hard. Well, uh, see what we can do. That takes care of this time sink. Let's get to the good stuff already. <laughs> oh, Credo. You're quickly becoming my favorite. We got ourselves a strength elixir. Oh. And also, what is this? Grimald Eos? Oh, an Eos. Okay, Looks so like it's here. what will be we? Uh, what will be be unlocking? Right there. Huh? We could we could check that out. But yeah, let's use the items we've gotten. I'm gonna use it on Adol. Again, on Adol. Um, i use that. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. Oh, before that, let's save. Just in case. Alright, now we attempt it. Or see if we can, like, actually do anything about this. Residual enmity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave this be. 21. A newly appeared Grimald Aos with Lemuris approaching. 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 <laughs> what? With Lemuris approaching in myriad forms. It falls to the monsters to hold them off from the sphere. Can we upgrade anything? Nothing. Okay. Let's try this out. I mean. I think most of us are like level 23 at this point. We may be able to complete this and get Monsters. those rewards. The time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheathe your curse and smite the darkness. Protect the spin from the Lemuris, or the Lemmies. Getting another S rank? Oh boy, that was pretty chaotic. <laughs> I was worried for a second that they might get to the speed. Oh my goodness. Now we only have 20 knocks left. Still S rank. From all of you. Awesome sauce. Job and well we done, guys. we uh, acquired an anguish tier, a dark drop, a thick hide, sturdy shell, tempest elixir, smoked meat, bitter remedy, luminescent fluid, defense elixir. We're getting a lot of those. Iron ore, spirit lumber, and a glossy 
leaf or a couple of glossy leaves. I really haven't done much crafting, I realize. Alright, first off, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you like the content of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to let me know and share this video to your friends, your family, and everyone you think would enjoy it. And if you haven't, please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and become part of the Dreamer Tribe. And if you've already subscribed and you want to get notified whenever new videos come out, then just click on that bell icon and you'll get notifications whenever new videos are posted here on this channel and that's about it again hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and i'll see you all in the next video until then you guys know the drill dream on fly on bye bye now